Hi everyone, it's Christy Gray. Today I want to talk to you about the risks of submitting a backup offer. A backup offer um, can be made when a property goes under contract. The seller may then only accept backup offers. The issues with backup offers, um, there's two that I clearly see that are cons to submitting a backup offer. The first is that should that contract fall out and your backup offer is now the primary offer, the sellers could be freaked out because they just watched a deal fall through the cracks. They might not want to negotiate much with you. They might just want to take your offer um, and improve on the terms. They might not be willing to give you much wiggle room or negotiate because they just got put through the ringer and they lost a contract and they're freaked out. So you might have much more negotiating ability if you make a normal offer rather than a backup offer, let the sellers kind of regroup and start fresh and then start the negotiations over. A second reason why backup offers are not the best to make is because it ties you to that house. What if it takes a couple of weeks for them to realize that they need to move to your backup offer? In the meantime, you could have found another awesome house and made an offer on it, and you could have been the primary offer rather than the backup on that one. So it ties you to a house where you could be continuing your home search and putting in the primary offer on a different property. I think what's better than making a backup offer is to have your realtor call the seller's agent and ask, um, ask that seller's agent to call them if the offer looks shaky and if they think that it's going to fall through. At that point, you know you should start considering making a normal, not a backup offer, um, and just have it in the back of your head that it may be falling through. And at that point, you can figure out how to proceed rather than putting the ball in the seller's court by throwing in a backup offer into the ring. Those are my thoughts on why putting in a backup offer may not be the best option for a buyer. I'd love to know your thoughts, but thank you so much for watching and have a great day.